Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2, Episode 4. So, we've become separated from our little bro, our bro Homeo, our, our nano. Hours away from the Haven Point. Almost there. Okay, so we have to go to a place called Haven Point. Yeah, we got separated from him, and uh, we are currently, yet again, on the lam for the second time. So we just made our great escape from the hospital, and... Shit, I need a break. Yeah, that's that's basically... There might be some shade at the next billboard. Okay, well, yeah, that's basically it. The last episode was all escaping from the hospital, getting to grips with our situation, and of course, having lost our eye in the explosion that Daniel caused. Oh, well, it's all a day in the life of old Shawnee boy. Boy, he is looking extra tanned. Unlike me, I'm pure white. I'm not saying white is the pure race. Don't be accusing me of fucking racism. Don't be accusing me of being a supremacist. I ain't saying any race is a pure race. We're all flawed human beings here, okay? There's no one that's perfect. Alright, okay. Okay, we're good, we're cool, okay. Two pair casino. Ooh. And it's only 22 miles ahead. Oh, your rib hurting you there, shiny boy? Next billboard. And then I can rest a little. Right? Yeah, sure, look. You can make it. I believe in you. Yes. Shade. It's not shade you need. It's freaking water. Come on, take a break. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Uh, I bet. Well, we can drink water and draw. So, first things first, gotta stay hydrated. Shit. My throat feels like sand. That's it, get some of that good old H2O oh. into you. Okay, and uh, I guess we can draw. Never drew a desert before. Well, there's a first time for everything. Oh. It's so empty and quiet. Just the way I like things. Empty, quiet. Okay. Just gotta do a bit of observation. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Yeah, let your mind free. Draw what you see. Wait, whoa. Wow, those clouds actually look super realistic. I had a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I've noticed that in this game before. This place is so empty. Huh. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Yeah, you already said that. Can't see much depth anymore. I need to observe even more. Hey, look, you're drawing pretty good for one eye. I guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. Uh, yeah, draw health, because, you know, you said we're in hell. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Wait, do I hear something in the game or is it outside? I think I heard something outside. Yeah, okay, that's enough of rest. I mean, those miles ain't gonna walk themselves, are they now? No, I didn't think so. We take another rest at the next billboard. Anyway, I feel like I should apologize for my last two videos, Dead Space. Better be okay. 
because I... Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. And here you are, but... Now you are. Oh, Kim loved that coyote. But, yeah, my last two Dead Space videos, they weren't the best. The country wasn't on point. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a bit bored of Dead Space, but at the same time, I do want to get to the Hope end of the game. I'm not running into a trap or something. So, I mean, people can, can tell, like, when I'm not into things. I mean, Life is Strange 2, it's a different game. It's, um, it's a game I'm getting to enjoy. In my first step into Life is Strange was the first game, and even at that, I didn't think I'd like it much. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Maybe he can give you a lift. Come on, stick out the thumb. Stick out the thumb. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just... See what he wants. Maybe he wants to give you a lift. I mean, we've all hitchhiked at some point. I mean, I did it when I needed to get into college one day because I missed my bus. Come on, Johnny. Ain't gonna wait around forever. Truckers can't be cops. No, they can't. No. Unless they're undercover. Yeah, I heard you. Oh god, please send me your truck as AC. Hey, need a lift? Oh yes, please. It's too damn hot to be walking. Oh, definitely get in. I mean it sure could be a trap, but you know what? The benefits yeah. outweigh the cons. Hey. Hold up. Are the pros outweigh the cons? Hopefully he's not another racist. Or he's not a bounty hunter. Would there be a bounty on my head? Jesus will save you. No, no, this trucker saved me. Ah, oh, he's got the old Star Spangled Flag. And a pick of his girl. Don't suppose you want to share one of those drinks with me, boy? Jeez, what the hell happened to you? Oh, I got beat up. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hands on. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh, I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too much information, but 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. <laughs> Don't okay, freak just, out. This guy seems I, pretty chill. I wouldn't have picked you up if I had cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. But there's cool. a law against hitchhiking? Or picking up hitchhikers? So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Oh, don't turn <sighs> down. No, oh, thanks, bro. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Hmm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Oh, you seem like a very chill dude. What's your destination? 
Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Oh sweet. So Anton got any tombskis? Bit bit of a uh, Green Day. Nickelback. The White Stripes. Kenny Logan. No. God, I, I hate, I hate awkward silences here. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. As long as you ain't an undercover cop. Ah, oh, look at that champion smile. He's happy. Okay, so we met with one decent guy so far in this chapter or in this episode. At least I hope he's decent. Last stop. One of my hairs falling out. Even point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. Ten four, good buddy. Ten four. What the? does that mean I don't understand uh, trucker speech so Haven Point is that the church or is it just the oh it's the church I thought it was or I thought it was the area or is it the area it's Haven Point Church Oh, so it's Easter. He is risen. Happy Easter. Wow. Praise the Lord. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Yeah, it's easy to do. Let's check their mail. Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. Hopefully. Oh. What's wrong? <coughs> who hurt you? You tell me who hurt you. you I'll beat okay them up. Okay, now, is it gone? I, I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Sure, why not? Or you could, yeah, but this time we're looking for someone, and that someone is our little bro. Uh, not really looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here, no matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. I like Plus, that attitude. We have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay, um,. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Uh, what miracle is that? Oh my god. I bet it's Daniel. I bet it's Daniel and he showed off his powers to everybody. Uh, what miracle? You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. It's gonna be Daniel, be I know it. Any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. Alright. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Her father was nice. Hopefully it's not the coof. Maybe. People won't judge me here. Well, he didn't. He was nice. 
Because I'd love to think they're like real, real Christian people, not like the far right leaning leaning uh, Christian people. They don't judge people based on race, ethnicity. Okay. And whatnot. Where are you, Daniel? Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. ATN, that's Austin, is it? Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. This, I assume, would be North Carolina. Um, my eye is itchy again. I can't scratch it though. Okay, let's just have a quick look see around here. Ooh, what's in here? It smells like bacon and bread in there. Oh, shit, I'm starving. Okay, then let's bust in and get ourselves some grub. Or not. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. My guess would be a lot. I know I could just go into church through the front door, but I just want to do some exploring. Just want to explore a bit. Nevada Nothing wrong with that. Like a giant slot machine. Maybe knock, I knock. can ask a bit more about this place. Okay, no one's home there, I guess. Is there a back door I can sneak in? No, I didn't think so. Feels out of time quiet oh I can enter here can I no that's a lot of closed doors and fences for such a small church I know right pretty weird hmm must be more kids here huh I wonder if Daniel made friends no, he pro probably did. But who needs friends when you have our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Okay, Wonder let's take a look at this flower. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Okay, Sunday fun day. Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple for a private picnic. Daniel is their new savior or something. I, I know it. Or he, sh he showed off his powers. And they all think he's the second coming of Jesus Christ or something. I take care of people. Maybe they need it. Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. Uh, they should. Okay, let's freshen up in here. Maybe take a dump. Okay. Better clean up first, yeah, so I don't scare Daniel. Exactly, and clean your hands. Look, look presentable. I mean, you're in church, God damn it. Show some respect. That's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, don't worry about your little baby face. It's not like you can grow a proper beard. Uh, 
And I wonder will we meet our mom? I mean, imagine if she was the reverend of this church. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never ask the Lord for a sign. Then... He gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. A PS5? A child graced with the power of God. That's Daniel. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. I knew it. What is up with your hair, dude? <laughs> oh God, what have you done? The prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. Huh? But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us. To guide us from the wilderness to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Daniel, you need the power to get a decent haircut. You look like a freaking monk. things. I feel embarrassed and I feel ashamed. But God shouldn't be touching anyone. That's inappropriate. Has God not heard of personal space? Oh boy. Even part of a cult. You have seen a miracle with your own eyes. Now we have a voice, a messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. And God bless United States of America. So, I know one of our camp members was a member of a church before, but he left it. As I'm guessing said, he brought Daniel into that fold. You've helped us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any 
questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> oh, just look at that look of defeat. God, what has Daniel got himself involved in now? Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Oh, it's you. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. Yep, that was me. I like to be here, too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Better not be the corona. Too bad. What happened to your eye? Well, that's your savior did that to me. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? Really? Oh. He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, oh, you know not about me. Too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? I need him back. Okay, but first, some interrogation. What is he doing here? Like I said, I'm going with that... What's his name? I can't think of his name, but it was one of the guys from the... Drug camp, the hippie camp. That was once a part of this fold or part of this cult, but left and somehow brought Daniel in. That's what I'm guessing. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Okay, and who is the Reverend? Who is this reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. Okay, well, something is definitely guiding her. The next thing to guide her will be my foot up her ass. Anyway, what is this place? What is this place? This is our home. Our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. Alright, now, the last thing. Take me to my brother. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith, and mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh, my... Sean! He came back! Of course I, I did. It. I'm like a boomerang. You've grown up in Anna. Do I look older? You look stupider what? with that haircut. What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. That happened at the farm? No, no, no. Of me? I'm so sorry. If I'm you want so to be apologetic, get rid of that haircut. It makes you look like a nonce. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. <laughs> It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. 
We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? No, I'm taking you with me. I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But we don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. And weird. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Uh, no. N nah. No. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hey. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. You better not have been. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Oh, God, are you exactly what I was thinking? But no, we'll be taking him with us. I don't want him. I can get him messed up with this cult. I'm leaving here with Daniel. Yes, yes, I know about this reckless journey. Uh, well, you know, I'm his family, or but I could say, yeah, this isn't his home, which is true. It's it's true. I mean, this ain't a place of worship. It's just a, a place of f fucking fantasism. This isn't Daniel's home. That's where I'm taking him. In Mexico. That sounds very selfish. He has all he needs. Right here. Sounds more selfish to try and keep your main attraction. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Daniel will be staying here. Whether oh, the hell he like will. it or not. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard about what you did in California. How you pushed your brother into felony. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. Oh, assault. The fuck. What did you do? Nothing. Enough. <gasps> you spilled blood. In the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. He's right. I will pray for you. Ben, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you. To the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. Wait, I would lead crazy. you to Ward 5B Let's if I have to. Here, I want to stay. But that's not your choice. Let's go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. And you need to have the sense slapped into you. Daniel! Ugh. 
she so go. much for hospitality. Satisfied. Now don't you ever come back. Oh, get up, because we're a fighter. I ain't gonna lie on the ground taking this come nonsense. On, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Oh! Jesus, I'm getting the shit beat out of me left, right, and center. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. So next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Oh. Now get out of here. Big man with his big gun and small freaking dick. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean. Oh, that's our mom. I knew it. You won't. Get him back like this. Oh my god. Let's go. I knew we'd see her. No, I thought she was going to be that reverend. But at the very least, I I thought she'd be a member of this church as well. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what about your backpack? Dude. Okay, well, whatever. We've got a lot to, to talk about and a lot to catch up with. Oh, well, you have your backpack. Ooh. Sean. It's going to be rough. What happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um... I got a letter from, uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. Jacob, he... Him. He was the one so who... Finally decided who was part of that church. Oh, I, I got gotcha. you. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest. And clean that dressing. Yikes. What a freaking curveball. Like, I knew the second I heard it, that woman call out her name, but I doubt that was going to be her mom, because we're going to meet her at some point. It's called Gamer's Intuition. You just know these things. Ooh, those are some nasty bruises. So yeah, like I say, Jacob, he was one of her friends at the weed camp, the drug camp, whatever. And I'm guessing, like I said, he brought Daniel to that church. Ooh, nice ass. Not that I happen to be a connoisseur of asses. I just know a good one when I see one. Ooh, we got jammies. Oh. Can't see that. Okay, now let's go talk Man. to our moms. Didn't clean the pain away, but... That felt good. Okay, now let's just give ourselves the once over. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Let's see what kind of stuff you got here. Any drugs? Karen seems to be on the move quite often. 
Yeah, so what is the story with her? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Like, she's probably going to explain why she left and what she's been doing. That's what we need to find out. I mean, that's been the key element of the game. Well, not really a key element, but it's been something that's shrouded in, in mystery. But something I haven't really given much thought to. So, yeah. We are going to be taking a deep dive into our childhood now. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? She probably did. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Hmm, maybe. But I wonder if it, if these powers are what's the term if they're in your bloodline. They were inherited from our mom. Or if they're uh, genetic. I know I shouldn't peek, but... <sighs> Whatever. Oh. Glad to know she learned the lesson. <laughs> Karen did her own road trip to get here. Wait, 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 there's more? Karen did her own road trip to get here. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice. Twice, twice. My solitude days and dreamy nights, just to find myself looking forward to turn back. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I think she wrote poetry when she was younger. Okay, that makes sense. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. All right, okay, um. Okay, I, I don't get what's going on with that. I, I thought it was going to be notes about us, but apparently not. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. I think she might have had road map. This country is just way too big. You're damn right. Ooh, and we got a cellular phone as well. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. It's a good way to be, because when was it? Going back a couple of years ago, uh, when I was on the bus, when I was going from college into the city, I saw a girl with two phones. One of them was an At least iPhone. Daniel's alive. But he seemed different. Different now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had an iPhone, but she also had a very old Nokia 3310 as well. So she had two phones on her, which was kind of, uh, you know, different. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. G slash geolocate. Password is 112708. Hope you find your son. Oh. Looks like a very banged up Samsung Galaxy tablet. Okay, so 112708. And what do you want to bet that the password has been changed? Yay. Technology. She came prepared. Okay, so she's not part of the church, right. She probably heard about Daniel through word of mouth. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa. That is a lot to read. She has a lot of biblical nonsense. What about this? A slice of heaven point. Okay, this could be interesting. 
So a slice of heaven point by Robert Neal. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand. But this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And tell me they did. The members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with hushed awe of their pastor and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Right. I, I, I don't care about, about people crying in front of a pastor. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so a BRB note. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent me. BRB, Karen. And Jeez. what else? It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob and I work with your sons Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. 77550118. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob, like I keep saying, was part of this fold. So I'm guessing he didn't bring him into the fold. He didn't bring Daniel into the fold. But somehow they got mixed up. And, you know, Daniel got mixed up in his religion somehow. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's all weird. Okay, so mobile phone. Who we, can we call Jacob? Time to hit up Jacob. Oh, okay, we can use this phone. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. You found my note from your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Branch Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a... a Wild Mice Ranch billboard there? I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Oh. I'm guessing Jacob got roped back in, did he? Because I remember there Damn. being some dialogue about that. He and couldn't how he really escaped talk. it. All this is so messed up. Ooh, casino coin to take. Hey, achievement unlocked. It's a pity I don't give a damn about Steam achievements. Like, I don't get how the Steam, the Steam leveling system works. And I've been using Steam for... How long? 2013, 2014? I've been using it for at least nine years. Yes, I... Because while Steam has been around for... I'm so drained. For God knows how long. Like, I only started properly PC gaming when I built my own custom PC or bought one. Okay, but either way, uh, enough chit chat. Let's wait for Karen. And hopefully she doesn't turn out to be a Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Please open up. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. Hey, what's your fucking language? How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? Oh, it's you remembered. That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <laughs> wolf it down. Like you care. <laughs> a wolf. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, you didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? That is the burning question Anna. we want to know. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Knew it. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Um... That is a very good question. I'd say on a wing and a prayer and a sheer amount of luck. But you know what? We'll give our pop some props. He taught us, even though Dad he didn't taught pretty. Me responsibility. He always okay. wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So ask me anything. Okay. The most important question is, why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. Oh, but dude, we left him with a broken heart. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. Okay. Wait. 
And now, what are you doing here? Well, we all know she wants to rescue Daniel, but we'll go ahead with the dialogue anyway. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Wait, Arizona? What you doing there? Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. Or someone. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I guess I can't be too hard on her, given her honesty, so uh, I know. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past. Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Whew. This episode really hits heavy. I'm guessing there's supposed to be some music playing in the background, but because of copyright and whatnot, I turned it off. Even though the music does really add to it, and not having it there really takes away from the atmosphere. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. Okay, so what did you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Kids? My mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Okay, but was it worth it? No. That's the question. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. Ooh, so inspiring. That's so inspiring. <laughs> I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. I mean, she does have a point. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See?
see how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. Okay, left bit. Why go with us, though? I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. <laughs> but you wanted a clean break, right? But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Uh, but I wasn't yeah. so lucky. I mean, like, look, I wasn't that lucky. Oh, sure. You spent eight years with her, so there was that bit of Do you um, want to tell me how bond. you felt then? Or now? Eh. You say guilty. I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No. No. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Ooh, smoking this bad. Got one for me though. Go on, cough up. Go on, ask for one. Hey, um mind if I blow my smoke? Sure. <laughs> Still got a few left. Oh, you're the coolest mom ever. <laughs> Well, I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. And you better hold on to it. No, oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Maybe Lila was supposed to be the one for me, rather than... What was her name? Jen, I think it was? Hmm, maybe. Alright, this is normally where the music would play, so I think I'll just head back inside. Although some of this could make for a good a thumbnail material. Maybe. Alright, I think we would uh, head back inside now. We should go back inside. 
I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. I just Sean, have a fascination for seeing what his eye actually look looks, looks like now. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Danny. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Oh, damn, she's thought of everything. Take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Ah, why not? It could be a bonding experience. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Oh boy, he's really been through the wars, hasn't he? It's very interesting. No? Oh, one bit of your... Uh, of a reaction from him. Fair play. Here, try this on. Oh. Oh, so he is missing his eye completely. I, I, I just got a brief glimpse of it there. How do I look? <laughs> like a freaking pirate. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Danny. At any cost. Okay, so we're going to get the lowdown from good old Jacob. If he shows up. You sure he's going to show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Not. That's our model bear. We got to meet amazing people too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Ah, he's a little rascal. He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know? Heads up. Oh, is this her boy? Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Oh, and after all that, we still got our squad Sean, fam uh, what jumper. Happened? I 
Like, you know, now I'm kind of pissed at him, so what were you thinking? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Okay, we can't say he stole the cash, because he still has it. You did it can't right, be too Jake. bad. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and oh, all by Jesus. himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. Okay, you know what? He... I can't be too mad at him. He did what he thought was best. What about the others? Hannah, Cassidy, Penny? What happened to them? They ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn was gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I oh, need that's to why. get to him, Jacob. I'm the asshole who went along with the robbery. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Well, too bad. When I John here ain't afraid of nobody. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on Milwaukee. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. <sighs> She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. Except medicine. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. Oh, I knew it. I had I an idea. you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? No, drag him out, but the freaking hair. I know him. Daniel freaking better cooperate. Or he's gonna get it. Okay, here we are. Church, sweet church. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church. 
so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Okay, we just got a solid snake this, but that will be for the next episode. Okay, again, very surprising, a lot of twists, a lot of turns. Did not expect to see the mother show up so soon, although... I did suspect at some points we would inevitably see her. And that we'd probably come running to her, or she'd come running to us to our aid, something, something like that. It's uh, pretty much easy to guess plot points in this game although sometimes i i can be wrong i mean i've i think i've been fairly accurate on my guesses especially the first time when i heard her just without seeing her i knew it was her because you knew with all the chaos and commotion that's going on in her lives she was probably keeping up with us somehow some way and especially when she saw the newspaper article I knew she wasn't just going to straight up abandon us. But uh, yeah, so we are getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, so next episode or next part will be part three of this episode. And that'll probably be the last one. Then, of course, we'll be getting into episode five. Yikes, can't wait to see how all this pans out. Will we be able to save Daniel by the end? And what will be the outcome? Will our names be cleared? Will we finally get justice for ourselves? Yeah, who knows? Well, we'll only know by playing further and further into this game. And then after that, I'll probably get into Life is Strange True Colors. And maybe finish off Dead Space before that and start a completely new series. Yeah, who knows? Either way, guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.